man, I was not expecting to be blown away by this project. What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. And I'm back again with another review, and today I'm gonna do a very quick review on this new Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett collab project, Love for Sale. Now, this is a collab project between pop icon Lady Gaga and legendary jazz singer Tony Bennett. They collabed on a project before this one in 2014 called Cheek to Cheek. Now, this new album sees Gaga and Bennett performing songs from jazz singer and composer Cole Bennett, covers if you will. And this is in fact their final project together, the two of them, as recently Bennett was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Now, this is my first time listening to a project by both of them together. And I was very excited going into this song. I love jazz compositions. Lady Gaga is clearly super talented and seeing her perform jazz ballads was something I wasn't expecting, but man, I'm glad I did. This album is almost perfect, amazing. It's 12 songs running about 44, 45 minutes that sees Gaga and Bennett just feeding off each other beautifully. Now I wanna start off by talking about Tony Bennett because for those who don't know, I did mention his, his recent uh, diagnosis of Alzheimer's. He's 95 years old and nowhere on this record does he sound like a 95 year old man. The energy, the passion that he brings to these records, he, he sounds like a young man in all honesty. And Lady Gaga absolutely blew me away. Now, I, I know her from her pop records and, and just how great of an artist she is, but what she was doing on this album, on these jazz records, she, from top to bottom, dominated every song and just blew me away. Now, on these 12 songs, each artist, Gaga and Bennett, do have a couple of records where it's just them by themselves and a record by Lady Gaga that absolutely stood out to me was the song Do I Love You where vocally she just, you know, takes it to a whole nother level. I mean, this is just one of many and I don't want to count out Tony Bennett because let me say this, okay? While, while Gaga was clearly dominant and doing her thing, Tony Bennett, the 95-year-old singer, had no issues catching up at all. Both of these artists absolutely blew me away. Like I said, this is going to be a quick review because I didn't want to really dive into the songs here because they're all pretty uh, simple and, and kind of talking about the same thing, more so love ballads um, that are covers by Cole Porter. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and talk uh, talk about it just a little bit and just how amazing Gaga and Bennett were because if you are fans of jazz and and th that type of music that that has you feeling like you're in a you know like a fancy speakeasy or jazz bar, I would highly recommend this album. Um, I actually have zero complaints at all about it. Gaga and Bennett, you know, give us a nearly flawless record. Their chemistry together is so strong, it's clear, it's evident. And this final project that they're doing, I, I just can't stop listening. The production on here is grand, it's luxurious. You know, it kind of feels like something you would hear at like a, a Jay Gatsby party. So like I said, y'all, I would, I would definitely recommend giving this a listen. Um, it's great, even if you're just like studying or like chilling, doing some work, it, it would be perfect background music. Um, I think you guys will really enjoy it. And I'm gonna give this album a nine and a half out of 10. So what did you guys think of the new collab project between Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Got more videos coming for you guys this week. I'm Jason, this has been my quick take. See you next time.